Can you get it? You say, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. They keep putting their mouth on the tongue of God. Come on, God. Come on, God. Because they know what the scripture said. Touch not my anointing. I do my prophets. They don't understand the biblical, the kingdom principle. They don't understand whatever you sow, you shall also reap. They don't understand that. Oh yeah, the devil hot up in here. Yeah, he's upset because he's like, why is she telling them all that? Because you know what? I need for you to know my assignment is to make sure that you shift your gears. My assignment is to make sure that you buckle up and get ready. My assignment is to let you know if you've done what they told you to do. I told you, you know we're going on another plane, right? Ladies and gentlemen, come on, man. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to take flight. I need everybody in their seats. I need everybody to walk up and make sure you're deaf. Dance board is pushed in. I'm going to let you know that the emergency exits are right here. Right there. I'm going to tell you, get ready, you know, and they tell you, buck up. In case in emergency, the air mass will fall out. They give you all this instruction and they tell you, now we're about to take. Once we get there, then you can unbuckle. Somebody get that big in the spirit. The Lord said, you see, you're wondering why you can't do nothing right now. Because you're about to take off. You got to be buckled down. You got to, I'm not going to let you run like that. I'm about to do a jolt in the spirit. I'm about to push some action. Some things about to happen. Suddenly, all of a sudden, you were here. To, you're over here. You're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And the Lord God said, when you get to that level, then I will allow you to unbuckle Come on now. and walk in in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Ooh, somebody better. Yeah. Well, if, if that was on sale, I'd buy to take myself. Yeah. I'm not lying because the Holy Ghost is talking to me all up in there. Yeah. He said, that's why you have to buckle up. Yeah. You have to buckle up. Sit still. Wait on God. Then wait. Woman of God, you were thinking that God had forgotten about you. You just having to buckle up.
the altar. So that way, when, whenever you have someone coming, they're like, my God. They walk in, they fall out in the spirit. They're like, the presence of the Lord is here. Thank you, Lord God. It's yeah. not hard for evangelists to preach in the house that's consecrated. Yeah. It is not. Because the moment they step in, it's But you know what? I realize I got I got to keep the house clean. I got to make sure no flesh is on there. You're like, wait a minute. You don't know me like you think you know me. No flesh will get the glory. Hey, God, I'm going to come there. You better make sure every time I hear you say, you better say, God said. Because anytime you say, I have an idea, I go leave. <laughs> if God didn't give you a fresh matter, you better take that back over there and make sure. And if anybody knows me, but I'm always saying, check with the Father. God, you, you know, I got a word. Did you check with the daddy before you check? Did you, I got something. Uh, you know, well, they said, well, Pastor, you gave it. Did you check with the Father before? Four to five years. If you have a standard, you know what I'm talking about. Right now, see, so you're wondering why things are going the way they I'm telling you right now, you got five gears to get to. Come on, people of God, I'm closing. You got five, tell your neighbor, I got five gears. I got five gears. Tell your neighbor, let me see. Somebody say gears, somebody say gears. Oh, 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 oh. God, God. You have five gears. Somebody say five years. It's five years, babe. But you know what? It can be all the same. You got five. But you know what? The very first one will start and your speed is about to accelerate. It operates with obedience. When you do something, when you do what God tells you to do, all of a sudden things are about to pick up. Hey, your speed is a little bit. They can't find. They come, where are you? I'm gone. I'm like, well, what you doing? I'm about to follow the business. <laughs> we come to visit. Well, you have to visit with me on the run. <laughs> I got something. What you doing? I'm going to prayer. <laughs> where you at now? I'm going to well, yeah, no, I'm going to so and so and lay hands on. And, and you see, many of you may not realize, but your gear has just shifted. Yes. You have an appetite for prayer. People are calling you, and all of a sudden, you didn't cut your TV off. Come on now. Amen. All of a sudden, you didn't shut your phone on site. And they're like, what's going on? Where were you? You're like, I shifted my gears. When he shifted my gears, I'm at a different pace because I, I, I'm moving with him. I'm not just moving around him. I'm moving with him. And then all of a sudden, there's gear number two. Say number two. Number two, number two do you realize this is a little bit faster? Yeah. I'm here to tell you. You see, first you got to get to one before you get to two. And so all of a sudden, that you'll find some of them. I'm letting you know. See, some individuals in here have already been in one. You've already been. I'm doing this for the Lord. But all of a sudden, God's requiring more of you. And you're like, wait a minute, God. You're in gear number two. The attacks have gotten stronger. Come on. Ooh, I want you to know you're not in gear number one. You're in gear number two. Because I'm here to tell you they're coming in with you with everything besides the kitchen sink. Or well, everything that they get. If there's something going on, I believe so and so is there. Really? And they, they just realize. Don't get upset. Just know that you're in, you've been shifted to gear number two. If they got somebody to blame, you know what? She was right. He used to. Uh, we're like, my God, I, I wouldn't even hear. Yes. <laughs> Just know you're in gear number two. Just understand that. When it gets ready for gear number three, that's to tell you number, number, number three. Number three is actually when you begin to get on the expressway. You begin to, your speed has gotten a little bit faster. You're on the highways. Yet tell them about COVID and I'm a higher. Yet tell them about they can't keep up with this. All they can do is watch you smoke. It's like, I thought she was over there. You're already back to your house. I thought you, I did it. <laughs> I did for my father. That means when you're in gear number four, you do what God tells you to do, and then you move. You do whatever God tells you to do. You don't sit there if you didn't take to have conversation and, and go through a session. He told you to go lay hands. He told you to go pray for him. He told you to cast the devil out. Don't sit up there like, we will have tea. No. Get your stuff and get out because you're in gear number four because you never know between that place and the next place, it might be a miracle that God said, you're about to cross, and I want you to get up the car and pray for him. Ooh, come on, Holy Ghost. That's number four. And when you get to five, tell your neighbor five. Five, five, five. is grace. Hallelujah. Did you realize when you're in five, my God, another level, another devil, that's when all oh, hell, when you talk about the enemy yeah. trying to do something to you. Gear number five, they're messing with your children, they're messing with your money. Five. We don't even know it. You're like, I was wondering what it. You 
Come on, Pastor. Yeah, number five said, if I let that daughter continue on, that she's going to mess around and give a testimony of what God did, I'm going to stop her. And then see, five is when it goes beyond you, when you notice that everything around you start getting attacked. Yeah. My God. Somebody needs to get that. When you're in gear number five, the enemy, all, 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 all guards all. You see, just like one through four, it was just you. But when you get to five, somebody just found out what gear they're in. You see, you were shifted from, from four to five. I'm closing, you went from four to five. Because things used to come up just against you. And at times you're like, all right, I got it, all right. I know the enemy's, but now you start messing with my, my, my children. Come on. My seed. Uh, things that uh, my vehicle, my, my house, you know, my marriage, you know, I, 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 oh, and for nothing. You know, one minute everything was just, you know, flowers, and all of a sudden th th there's flames. Whoa, come on, Holy Ghost. And Lord God says, you don't realize you, God just shifted your gears. Come on, Pastor. You're in fire. You're at a level that God says, I'm using you. I'm going to use you for my glory. Every testimony, yeah. everything that comes forth, that I get all the glory. And the enemy can't stand that. I'm closing with the quote that I shared with many of you before. And I'm going to say it again. It's by an unknown individual. It says, when you become precious to God, you become important to the devil. When you become important to God, you when you become precious, to God, I thank you. That's the word. The word was when you become precious to God, you become important to the enemy. You're like, wait a minute. Whenever you become the apple of his eye, whenever you know that God says that I call you friend, know that the devil's maker, he made a note of your name. He's like, wait a minute. This person here, God talks to them like a friend, not a servant. Well, I keep messing with her body. Yeah. Because see, she's a friend. You, Not just serve. I'm going to continue on. Somebody needs to get that. Lord. When you become precious, like Job was, the enemy said, you know what? I know he was precious because God says you can touch everything, but don't touch his God. Amen. And you find that everything, you're still alive. You haven't paid, but you're still alive and all hell going on. Amen. Just know you've been considered precious yes, and important yeah. to the devil. The devil said, because if she get her stuff together, if she not having pain, she about to raise some souls in here. She about to raise the dead up in here. She's about to testify the glory of God. And all the enemy said, mm, I gotta stop that. But I close to tell you that you are at gear number five. Come on, stand to your feet and let's give God some glory. Come on, let's give God some glory. Maybe one of my children, because I didn't touch it in, in the name of Jesus. But I thank you, Lord God, because God says he's shifting your gears. Every man, every woman in this house, just lift up your hands in the name of Jesus. Father God, as I pray this word, and I'm praying this word over your sons and daughters today, your kings and queens, that Lord God, that they understand what's happening right now. That you are shifting their gears. At first you were wondering, Lord God, did you forget about me? Things that they're buckling up, there's about to be a jolt. 